Hi and welcome to this video on agglomerative clustering. I am Raghavendra, an expert in AI, ML and data engineering. By the end of this video, you will be able to explain the types of clustering, list the steps involved in agglomerative clustering, apply agglomerative clustering on a sample data set. Now, let's understand the different types of clustering. Clustering are of two types. You have partitional clustering and hierarchical clustering. In partitional clustering, we have k-means clustering and in hierarchical clustering, we have agglomerative clustering. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about agglomerative clustering. Now, let's understand what is agglomerative clustering. Agglomerative clustering is a type of hierarchical clustering. It's a bottom-up approach wherein each data point is treated as a separate cluster, which are then merged to form a successively large cluster. It uses a pictorial representation to find out the ideal number of clusters called as the dendrogram. Pairwise distance matrix is computed to combine the nearest data points to obtain the dendrogram. Now, let's understand the steps involved in agglomerative clustering. First, we are going to select each data point as one cluster. Suppose we have n data points, there will be n clusters. Next, we are going to compute the distance between each of the data points to form a distance matrix. So here is a distance matrix where the distance between each pair of data points is being computed. From the distance matrix, we are going to find out the two closest data points. So here we are going to look at the distance matrix and figure out which are the two closest data points and form a cluster by joining these two data points. Combine the next two closest to data points and form a cluster by joining them. We are going to repeat this exercise of combining the closest to data points till one big cluster is formed. We are going to then visualize these steps through a pictorial representation called as the dendrogram. Now, let's understand the different linkages in agglomerative clustering. When two data points are combined to form a cluster, the distance matrix is to be updated to find out the distance between the newly formed cluster and the remaining data points. Below techniques are commonly used for the same. Single linkage considers the shortest distance between two points in each cluster. Complete linkage considers the longest distance between two points in each cluster and average linkage considers the average distance between each point in one cluster to every point in another cluster. Now, let's apply agglomerative clustering on a sample data set. So, we have two features x and y. Here is a plot between x and y. We calculate the Euclidean distance between every data point to create a distance matrix. So here is our distance matrix, which is the distance between every pair of data points. Euclidean distance between two points x, y, a, b is given by the square root of x minus a the whole square plus y minus b the whole square. From the distance matrix, we are going to choose the nearest two data points with minimum distance. So, here in the distance matrix, if you can observe the nearest two data points with least distance is P6 and P3. Now, we are going to combine these two data points to form one cluster as shown. Now, we have one cluster being formed we next need to update the distance matrix. For doing that, let's use single linkage technique. 
we would need to compute the distance between the cluster P3, P6 and the data point P1, we get that as 0.22, which is nothing but the minimum distance between cluster P3, P6 and data point P1, which is the minimum distance of P3, P1 and P6, P1, which comes to 0.22. Likewise, we compute the distance between cluster P3, P6 and point P2, which comes to 0.15, which is nothing but the minimum distance of P3, P2 and P6, P2, which is 0.15. From the updated distance matrix, we are going to next combine the two nearest data points to form another cluster. If you observe, points P5 and P2 have a minimum distance of 0.14, that is the least among all the other distances, we are going to combine them to form another cluster. The distance matrix is once again updated using the single linkage technique and here is the updated distance matrix. We are going to repeat the exercise of combining the data points and updating the distance matrix till all the data points are grouped together to form one single cluster. So we are going to have one big cluster of all the data points at the end. So that's going to be the end of all our iterations of this clustering. The dendrogram helps in identifying the ideal number of clusters. To identify the ideal number of clusters in the dendrogram, we are going to draw a horizontal line such that it cuts the tallest vertical line the number of clusters will be the number of vertical lines of the dendrogram which are being intersected by the horizontal line. Here if we observe in this case the ideal number of clusters would be 4. Sillard scores can be as well be used to check if the clusters obtained from the dendrogram are compact and well separated. Siloid scores have a value between minus 1 and plus 1. Siloid score value close to minus 1 means suboptimal clustering and a value close to plus 1 means good clustering. Inferences about the clusters can as well be obtained through cluster profiling. Let's summarize the key takeaways from this video. Agglomerative clustering is a type of hierarchical clustering. Agglomerative clustering is a bottom-up approach wherein each data point is treated as a cluster which are then merged to form a successively large cluster. Dendrogram is a pictorial representation to visualize the clusters. Distance matrix is computed to find out the two nearest pair of data points. Thanks for watching this video.